All right, now let's talk a little bit about the start and the starting position. The start sets up the whole technique for the throw. A mistake in the start will cause technical difficulties later in the throw. What does the start consist of? The start consists of the stance, the starting position of the ball, the winds, and the entry into the first turn. What's the goal of the start in the hammer? Simply to allow the hammer and the athlete to hook up and become what's called a two-body system. Is there a particular style of start recommended? This is purely a decision between the athlete and the coach. There are many stylistic differences between elite throwers. The start must fit the athlete. We're going to demonstrate some different starting positions. The first one that we're going to talk about is the static or side start. Now the athlete will assume a position in the back of the circle and the feet will be staggered um, with the middle of the circle between the feet and they're going to be evenly spaced. Now the static or side start, the athlete will put the hammer behind the right leg. And this is going to be the simplest of all starting positions. And now the athlete will basically reach back and at this point in time the athlete will draw the hammer up and start the wind. 